This interview on October 14, 2013, is part of an oral history of the West Chicago Public Library District Project. My name is Crystal Quasman, and I am a member of the Committee for the History of the West Chicago Public Library District. I will interview Mike Bonastro. Hello, Mike. Thanks for the interview. How long have you lived in West Chicago? I've been in West Chicago all my life. You were born and raised here? Yes. Um, I, I am familiar with the family, um, and I know there are deep roots and history here. Would you please share uh, some of that with us, please? Sure. My dad came here from Mexico when he was two, and my father, grandfather worked for the Chicago Northwestern Railroad, and he lived down in the train yards and would take the train uh, switch engine up to the crossing. They'd let him off, and he'd go to school, and then he went into the service, and then eventually he became uh, chief of police here and was with the police force for 26 years, being the first Hispanic police chief in DuPage County. In DuPage County, not just West Chicago. That right. is, that's phenomenal, right. admirable. And tell me about um, uh, your history with, uh, with our community. Well, like I said, I've been here all my life. Uh, I got married to my wife, Teresa, back in 1985. We have two boys, Michael Sr., who's a fireman here as well, and my son, Jeremy. And uh, I've been with the fire department here now a little over 32 years altogether. Uh, I was promoted to lieutenant back in 2002. Uh, it's the greatest, greatest job in the world, working for the greatest department in the greatest community. And there's just so many wonderful things about West Chicago that I really do enjoy. Well, we're proud of the community and very proud of, uh, of you. Uh, and your family. Thank you. Very welcome. Um, th this is about uh, the history of our library. Mm -hmm. um, and you and I have looked at the pictures uh, uh, over the time, and um, I'm guessing that your first visit to the library is when we were located at 332 East Washington. Oh, yes. Um, do you have um, some fond memories, something you could share with us about the library? Oh, I just remember the library uh, when my dad would drop off my older brothers or sisters there it was always a place that you had to be quiet, similar to church. Right. And you walked in, and I was just real, as a small child, real nervous about, you know, saying something and then someone looking at you. So <laughs> it was kind of neat. I remember we'd go downstairs to the, where the kids' books were, and I'd always go look for books with either trains or fire engines. In them. Uh -huh. I love that. It started as a young yeah, man. Yeah. Wonderful. And Wonderful. then there always there was something there. You know, I, I would show my dad about the police, you know, police cars or comics or things like that. But it was always just going down the basement. I remember that. Uh, my older brothers would look upstairs, mm -hmm. and I would always go downstairs, but and always remember to be quiet. That's so, cute. And it seemed like the building was so huge back then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, in perspective, when you look back now, it was very small compared to what it was. Uh, correct, correct. I mean, the evolution is amazing. Sure. Uh, the size of of our new beautiful building. Were you? Did you live in town that you were able to ride your bike or walk to the library? Yeah, uh, we lived right across from the old Lincoln School on Geneva Street. Uh -huh. Currently, the backyard of the of the new library. Um, when it was nice out, we could ride our bikes down there. But mm -hmm. if it was rainy or cold, my dad or or someone would give us a ride down there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we'd do our research in that. Uh, Nowadays, unfortunately, we all do it at home, and it seems like the importance of the library, I feel, is kind of taking a back seat. I think it's very important that the libraries in general, whether they be in the schools or like this, our, our town library, you know, stay positive. They're they're a great resource and a great value to our our children as they grow up. I I, I agree wholeheartedly, and I'm uh, just so pleased when I walk in that that first floor and to the right, um, where the the children's library, and it is always busy and always full. So I agree with you. Um, we need to get back to utilizing, and yeah. I think we've got a building uh, and a library that is uh, um, second to none. The, the new library, uh, obviously my sons benefited from that as they were growing up. Sure. Um, and on the side, I'm also a fire inspector. I went in the old library once it had vacated for a occupancy inspection and walked through the entire building as it is when, when it was empty. Right. And it was just kind of humbling and disheartening to see, you know, it, what it is now, an empty building, but then knowing, you know, in the back of my mind that there's a beautiful brand new one down the street Correct. It just there was a lot of memories there for me, and I just was thinking about how many people before me that were older had a lot more memories to cherish in there. You know, sure. maybe high school sweethearts coming up, and that's where they meet after school. That's right. That's or right. Things of that nature. So that's right. It was it was just odd just to walk through there as a, as a vacant building then. Yes, it had to be. It had to be.
Well, Mike, I want to thank you so much. This this has been uh, a very special interview for me. You came in on your day off. We're sitting in an incredible state-of-the-art firehouse, and it's just been a pleasure uh, sitting with you. I thank you very much. Oh, I thank you, Crystal, for the privilege of being able to speak about the library. And I just encourage everyone to, to keep continuing visiting your library. It's a great resource. It's a great atmosphere for learning and just to be around people who are, are knowledgeable. So please, the computers at home are great, but you still need to get out and visit the library. I agree. I agree. Thank you. Thank you.